Good afternoon, or good morning, I guess. It's uh, it's a live after reading. Welcome to the show. I'm your I'm your host, Tim Niederreiter, author of science fiction and fantasy novels of a strange kind, or multiple strange kinds, really. Anyway, I'm just here today to give you a brief little midweek episode about uh, morning pages. I, I don't know if you're familiar with this, folks, but I'm considering doing them again. And morning pages, I think were com- conceived of first by Julia Cameron, who wrote a book called The Artist's Way and has a course by the same name, I believe, for a long time there. And basically, there it's three pages, traditionally written longhand. So we're talking, for me, that's like 600, 900 words, something like that. But if you do it longhand, you know, it takes me for like half an hour to do it pretty long time. You just fill up these pages with whatever. A brain dump. Now, I haven't mentioned them in a while because I haven't been doing them. It's not a process that I stick to very rigorously in the past. But lately, I've been thinking more about building habits and the strength in building habits, which I'm very weak at, in fact. I I don't build a habit very easily without external pressure or some kind of hint of you know, you'll get rewarded if you do it. You, there's going to be an advantage, like putting out the podcast once or twice a week, depending on the time period I was putting them out. <laughs> but being regular with a podcast is not nearly as advantageous, though it is very advantageous, don't get me wrong, as being a regular writer or a regular, I don't know, morning page doer. You know, because if I write, my pace is pretty fast, so if I just did my good pace every day, every weekday, oh boy, I begin books out. And that's my goal, so I'm gonna do it. It sounds pretty simple when I put it that way. By the way, I'm walking outside, that's why this, you may hear cars and stuff, because yes, it's snowing again here in Southern Minnesota, and yeah, it was nice here for a few days, but now people are rushing here and there. It's toward the end of the day. But anyway, I really think the morning pages will be helpful because I'm trying to build new habits. And that's a habit that I've, I've done before and it's been pretty good, but I never really stuck with it. You know, partially because writing by hand is actually way too difficult for me. Even though, because I never really learned to hold a pencil correctly. Let me be honest, pe- people. You know, okay, I've written many books, but none of those have I written by hand, basically. I mean, I've written a few things longhand they were long form, but hardly any. So, ooh, music from this car nearby. I bet you can hear that. <laughs> Makes me glad this isn't live streaming, so no one's gonna jump on me about that from some company. I don't know what song that is, but whatever. Maybe you can even hear it. I don't know yet. But anyway. I, I really like that idea. Just, you know, get some, some stuff out there early to prime the pump. And it doesn't have to be important or useful for, the, for what I'm writing as a novel at that time. It doesn't have to be anything. It's just there to get the BS out of my head, you know? And so that's where my goal is with morning pages. But I have a bunch of other new habits I want to build too. Because I've been trying, I just realized, because I've kind of had a after a few good chats with my twin brother, I've really gotten some motivation behind me to try harder at built forming habits and keeping with them. Because a habit, you know, it, it's this weird thing that a habit isn't a restriction. It's not something that cuts down on your freedom. It actually increases your freedom by diminishing the importance you place on something or diminishing the effort it takes to do something. It gives you the ability to do more things. So even if I'm say, like one of my habits is to try to write four hours a day. Sit in front of the computer and type for four hours a day. Okay. Well that sounds like a restriction. Four hours a day on weekdays, I should say. Not every weekend either. 
guys gotta rest sometime. 20 hours of writing a week is a lot for me. I know some people would laugh at that, but that's, that's about what I need to do anyway. So that is my goal, but it's not, but even though I'm spending those four hours a day writing, it's actually going to increase my freedom when I can stick with it because freedom isn't about being able to obey your every whim and being thrown about by the, by your, by your moods and swings. Cause those are just not freedom either. That's the thing I've never understood for a long time. Most of my whole life, up until now, I pretty much thought, you know, being, being free is to be uncommitted. But it's not true. Being free is doing what you need to do, what you want to do more than the things that are demanding your time from your body, from, your, from whatever. You know, things that demand you to do something else that are, like, coercing you like video games in some cases, like these games, that these free-to-play games that give you more rewards if you play them more every day. You know, I can only play so much of these games. I only have so much time for that. So, I have to cut down somewhere, you know? But I swear, I mean, I swear it's true. At least, it's true in the sense that you'll be, you'll be better, you'll feel better if you build a habit I know, I know it's true. I haven't done it a lot, but I, I have a few habits that I've stuck to. Like the podcast, mostly. Producing the podcast episodes is really is a habit I've gotten into as a good form of, you know? I just kind of do it. I do the dishes on my days that I'm required to do at the house I'm at, I live at. You know, it's... It's good. It's a good to be able to do the things you need to do without worrying about it. Because worry doesn't help anything. So, I guess that's where I'm at. And I guess that's, that's pretty much the day. So, have a good one, folks. I'm not going to keep you any longer than I need, to, than you, I need you to. I think I made my point. So, habits for me are going to be starting up soon. Writing, pa- writing morning pages. Though I'll probably type them. Just do a thousand words of typing. And then I will also be doing the four hours a day dicta- of typing. And maybe I'll slip in some sneaky dictation because I'm leaning back toward that again. I'm like, as a, not as a main method, but as a supplemental I'm a supplement to my other writing. Anyway, that's about it, folks. Have a good week. See you again on Sunday. It'll be, uh, it'll be good. Got more episodes coming out. And- more folks to talk to. As for this podcast, as for this podcast and that truck, uh, but as for this podcast, you can find us at mentalsellerpublications.com. You can find me and my books on amazon.com all the time under the name Tim Niederreiter. Thanks for listening and stay safe out there. Here's it.